Astro product we're here let's get our tools we need for today we know what we are getting already and they even have an exhaust gasket here now hi all right this is the first step of our big project but I don't see <laughs> I don't see what we are looking for here today yeah. Let's ask. Well, unfortunately, they don't have it. So we're we we were here to pick up uh, engine hoist crane, engine crane to pull out a motor in our in one of my car. But you guys haven't seen the car yet. And you guys have no idea what car I'm getting the motor out of. So stay with us to see. It's gonna be a new car reveal and getting the motor out today. All right, so we don't have an engine hoist right now. So we're gonna call Uncle Hara Racing to see if he will let us borrow his engine. Made it to Hara Racing. Okay. He's letting us use the this OG massive engine crane. Let's see if we can even lift it up on the K truck. This is so heavy. that bad with the four guys it says oh I thought it says baby crane it says pedal crane or whatever uh, all right we're gonna use this today all right we got successfully got the crane back in the K truck all right are you guys ready to go are you guys ready to see the car we're taking motor out of? Alright, let's see. I'm not let's ready. See. We are not ready. <laughs> but we are ready. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. back on my pad so if you've been following me you know I have one car hitting inside the garage I never rebuilt I bought this back in September last year more than six months ago but finally I haven't even touched it and finally we're gonna work on it we're gonna uh, we're gonna take it out and take it to the shop but you guys ready Boom! Yes, it is real R34 GTR BNR34. Haven't even washed it. And this is. This is D Spec 2. Real D Spec 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're so excited. We are so excited. But this has a slight rod knock. That's why I got a good deal. And we got we gonna have this GTR legend rebuild the whole motor. And we're gonna get the motor out today. It's still running, it's drivable, but if you rev it, 
uh, higher is you can hear rock knock a little bit but this will be a brand new car while the uh, guys gonna rebuild the whole motor we're gonna get the turbo rebuilded and like all the other like suspension stuff refreshing and I already have a coilover for this and we're gonna stunt it all right let's see let's get this out the GTR key and this is a Koki spec so Koki spec has different interior like seats color and um, material it is super clean interior battery is dead And then V-Spec 2, factory dry carbon hood. And then all the little stuff is different. Has like rear carbon diffuser and all that. But this is a bone stock. Don't even have any rust. Super clean. Like even the uh, air box intake is all stock. And the radiator, intercooler, all stock. I uh, believe it has a cat back exhaust and no rust on the chassis whatsoever all right can't wait to pull this out all right let's start it oh can we start it from there battery gtr batteries in the trunk from factory but we should be able to start it from here i'm tripping i'm still tripping about this The GTR. Oh, I forgot. This Koki, Koki GTR. You have to press the clutch for some reason. All the Japanese car don't have to, but Koki, Zenki don't have to. I guess from Koki, they put this safety thing. Oh. Not enough juice. No, not enough juice. Not enough juice. Uh, one more time. Second try. Can never get old looking at this. Well, she starts. And you can hear why I need to rebuild this. Gonna go over everything. Uh, let's take it to the shop real quick. First mission completed. Got the GTR in the shop. All right. Still unreal. This is still unreal to me. We're gonna be 
taking the GTR B Spec 2 motor out. Or motor is still the same, but working on the V Spec 2 and be back on the road real soon. Did anyone figure it out? I had a GTR V Spec 2 or no? But how many of you are excited to see this car be on the road on this channel? Already has a coilover and already decided on wheels and just be gonna be waiting on the motor. I should be back. Uh, I should get this motor back rebuilt it within like a month or two. So before the summer ends, this car be back on the road stunting. Well, stay tuned for this build. I'm super excited. Interiors cherry, exteriors cherry, just the motor. This is the first BNR 34 in the shop, right? We've been working on the, we've been working on the ER 34s. This is the first BNR 34 in the shop. Well, we decided to wash the car before we pull the motor out. Hello, Dusty. After the wash, we started taking this apart. Well, since this has a diffuser, yeah, we can't even jack it up from the front. So we had to take it all off to get to the tow hook. We got the carbon hood on off. Let's see how far we can get get it done today. Another delivery. DF9 another Civic it already has a buyer and shipping it out right away but I never seen this in really stock condition like this super cool to see it SIR EF9 it's like Kanjo Joku style yeah Tech baby on the boys. Super sunny, feels like summer today. And we got EF9 at the shop, and we're almost ready to get this motor out. The GTR about to put this chains on, get it out, get it up with this. Big baby crane. It says baby crane. How is this a baby? <laughs> Two pumps. It goes uh, super high. Wait a minute. Is it gonna hit top of the... Is it gonna hit top of this? Maybe. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Boys are jamming.
that we did it. We got motor out finally. We dropped it. Uh, we separated the transmission from, uh, with the motor from here. Uh, transmission is still attached. Um, and this is going to be rebuilt as soon. Can't wait to get this all cleaned up and detailed before we put the motor back in. It's pretty nasty. Look like staying rack is leaking and all that. But once it's all done, it'll be well worth it. And be the V Spec 2 be back on the road running. And while our motor is getting rebuilt, we're gonna freshen up all these components like stang rack, leaking stang rack, and probably like brakes and all the little suspension stuff and detail everything here and get ready to uh, wait for the motor to get rebuilt. This has some after HPI aftermarket elbow, but stock turbo. Oh, we're gonna take turbo off and send off to get it rebuilt. We're gonna put this back, put it, put it back as OEM, all the OEM stuff. Be nice, can't wait. Look at this stage, yeah. It's not a typical stage, yeah. If you know, you know RV26. Is it like 260RS we call it? 260RS. Looking minty. Looking brand new. Smells like brand new. The five speed. So this is pretty much BNR33 motor and drivetrain, all wheel drive, manual RV26. Such a sleeper. Such a sleeper. Bramble. Congrats, Scott. <laughs> He recently got this and he had an ER34, but now he's in the dad mobile. So sick though, ultimate, ultimate family wagon. All wheel drive, RV26 and five speed manual. And got the trunk space. So sick. <laughs> 